Hey guys, what's up? It's a bit Eric. We're gonna check out some of Hungry Baby. So this is Hungry Baby Party on the Nintendo Switch. It is zany. It has like Ren and Stimpy style graphics, real gross and just over the top gameplay, different party modes and stuff. We're gonna check out some of the campaign. I've only played a little bit of it and just a little bit was enough for me to be like, holy crap, do I have to show you guys? What this game is like. So this one is wake me up. Got to collect the alarms to wake up a baby. Use the power ups, whatever, and then feed it. So we gotta feed the little hungry baby. So here I am with cute little strawberry hanging out. It's kind of like a grid-based game. You gotta watch out for traps. They're randomly see, like there was a trap right there. They're randomly placed throughout the uh, the field of play. And if you're actually playing this game with like multiple people. It just becomes entirely insane. Um, you are ranked. See, I only got one star because I guess I took way too long. Somehow, if you're really MLG gamer, you can beat that in 15 seconds. No way in hell that's happened. And then there's first rank, second rank, third, and noob. I like how noob is the worst. Um, let's proceed to move forward. There is a party mode where you can play with two people. And you can just imagine how crazy I just ran into freaking saw blades again. You can imagine how crazy this game gets with multiple people playing. Oops. I just ran right into another saw blade. Um, obviously, this game is nothing but trial and error. There's no way to tell where the traps are until it's too late. Uh, it is a lot better to play with multiple people. Just because it is a party type of game. Holy crap, is there so much saw blades. But it's, it's just insane. I wanted to show you guys just a little bit of the campaign and then we'll do one party game with bots. There we are. So that was level two on the campaign. And that, that, that theme song, that party, party, hungry, hungry, baby, like, is so addictive. Like, it's annoying. But addictive at the same time. Oh my goodness, really? There we go. Oh, okay. oh my gosh. This is the ultimate troll video game, guys. See? And it has you start all the way from the beginning. Now there is a power up that has like a checkpoint type of mode to it that you're able to uh, start from a new area, but. Oh, such a troll. Now that magnet ain't gonna do me any good single player, to be honest. Uh, but different different power-ups do different abilities and stuff. Three, two, one, such a zany go. game. <laughs> Holy crap. So we're gonna do this level and then we'll move on to a uh, stupid giraffe foot. We'll move on to a, uh, a four-way game. That's where you guys can see Really? Oh, I found too toxic. It does get a little bit of getting used to because it is four way controls, like, you know, because it is green based. God damn it, really? See, like, I pushed way too far. Uh, oh, it wants me to go this way. See, I. I it takes a little bit of getting used to if you push too far. One more, one more press, it'll send you to the next grid over. If that makes any sense, like. Kind of like how Star Tropics is with its controls. So now let's let's go ahead and go back. We're going to go back and we're going to go to the party mode. Just to show you guys. These are all the characters you can pick from too. They're all like little delicious treats. Let's do the hot dog. I'll be the hot dog. Then we're going to fill it in with bots. So there's classic mode, last eye standing. And go go pond, icy race, food. So there's there's different ones. We're going to do one round, and we're going to fill with bots. So here we go. Classic mode is what I was just doing. So you can see there's four of us now going across the whole the whole map. The point is to feed the baby. So first one to get in the baby's mouth. Oh, I just used lightning bolt. By the way, first one to get into the baby's mouth wins the game. There we go. I just went into the baby's mouth, so I was first. Now we're waiting. There we go. So that was classic mode. You can play as many rounds as you want and stuff. So, 
to that music. So let's try Last Eye Standing. I think you have to try to get to the, um, there's a freezer on the stage. Last one to get to that freezer in the center stage is a lot. Okay. So one already made it. Nope, nope. Ah, I'm third. Hasta la vista. So the last guy he lost. That's last eye standing. So many traps, and they are all random, so it's hard to tell where safe. Ah, oh, see, I made it last. Hasta la vista, baby. So let's go back. Quit. Go back to party mode. Let's check out one more mode, just so you guys get a feel. It is obviously a better setting to play uh, with multiple people, local co-op. You know, something this chaotic. So I guess the point of this is to jump into that bowl. Look at that. Oh dang it! I was almost in there. I ran right into that saw blade. So I got noob status on that. Three, two, one, go. Such a wacky game. Like who who thought of this idea? Who thought of this idea? Man, these guys killed me that round. Ah. You know what? Let's just finish it. Look at all these penguins and saw blades and everything that just come on. Ridiculous. Redonkulous. So yeah, this was a uh, hungry baby, guys. You gotta love that music. Hungry, hungry, hungry baby. Probably one of the most weirdest games I've ever encountered in my life. <laughs> if you want something completely far-fetched that I didn't have any idea, I saw this being promoted on the Switch's uh, news, like you know how you can have like the little news feeds? I didn't think it was this wacky, I thought it was just some dumb like kids shovelware game, but it's some gross adult <laughs> game. <laughs> so hey, definitely zany, definitely really fun for multiplayer. I'm going to have to come back to this with some friends and uh, see how just crazy it gets with four of us playing. But guys, thanks a lot again for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, feel free to throw a subscription and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out. Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. We got a big convention announcement. I will be at Retropalooza Houston June 8th and June 9th at the Pasadena Convention Center in Pasadena, Texas, which is basically the Houston, Texas area. So come on out. If you live within driving distance of Pasadena, Texas, there's absolutely no reason to get off your keister and come hang out at the convention and meet some of us. Who's scheduled to appear? Well, let me go ahead and let you know. We got Boogie2988 coming out. We got Mr. Creepy Pasta, Gaijin Goomba, Woodhawker, myself, the Game Chasers, and plenty more. And you know what? It's going to be a Saturday and Sunday con. We got June 8th, June 9th, baby. Saturday's hours are from 9 to 5, and Sunday's is from 10 to 5. So there's plenty of time, plenty of panels. Plenty of possible raffles and stuff, giveaways. They got free play, console area. It's a great time. This is like the fourth Retropalooza in Houston. I've always been there because, you know, I'm the best. Nah, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I definitely look forward to seeing you guys. I will have t-shirts on sale available. And you can just meet and greet, hang out. I'll sign stuff for free. I know people think we charge, but no, we don't. Uh, and yeah, I'll just kind of kick it with you guys. Possibly even have a beer with you. Come on out, guys. RetropaloozaHouston.com. You can get your tickets in advance so you have them at the door. Matter of fact, they're cheaper right now if you get them through their website. If you wait till the day of the con, you're going to be paying a little bit. And why not save some money for video games? Now, ticket prices, if you get them ahead of time, right now, the weekend pass, I believe, is $25. And then Saturday's $20, and Sunday only is $15. So you can get both days for 25 bucks you practically almost get a day free by getting a weekend pass so you can go to retropaloozahouston.com get your tickets ahead of time again it's at the pasadena convention center in pasadena texas june 8th and june 9th be there be square guys
Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description.